biggest problem that I see on this entire planet, over thousands of people that I've talked to, that I've coached, that I've had the opportunity to meet, they just, they don't, they don't know how to execute. They don't, they don't have enough trust built in themselves. We were having a conversation out here. They don't have, an, they don't have that trust piggy bank with themselves. They second guess, hey Sean, what should I do here? I'm thinking about doing this, I'm thinking about doing that. You, you know it deep down what the move that you want to make. And the reality is you want to face the fact that you're probably scared of what if it doesn't work? What if my friends think I'm stupid? What if this? Well, what if you fucking look up in 10 years and you didn't do that thing? Guys, so I'm out here with my man DK. Uh, I've known Danny Klein for about two years, Andy Elliott. When you find people who have a similar vision as you and they're driven, stay around them. Like the average person is uninspired, they're not doing anything that's exciting, they're not passionate, they lost their drive a long time ago. If you're around them, who do you think you're gonna be? Right, but if you're around someone that's always in the gym, always talking business, always sharing their values, always trying to inspire the world, and you surround yourself with them, who do you think you're gonna yeah. be in a year from now, or five years? And that's one of the most important things is to be in proximity with people that sharpen you, that inspire you, because it's gonna compel you to take way more action in your life. That's why I'm here with DK. We're out here in Cabo right now on the yacht, man, living the dream life, soaking it up. Mm -hmm. Well, people say proximity is power, right? And, I, and although I think that is true, but you gotta make sure that you make the right connections, the right relationships, because when you're in the right rooms, you still have to go in, you have to shake the hand. You have to make sure you have that right in conversation, that, that intentional conversation to be able to make sure that you're actually going in the right direction. Because most people, all they wanna do is what? They wanna take, 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 they don't wanna give. And like Keaton was talking about this weekend, we're here with The Muscle, we're here with Rob Bailey, we're here with Andy Yelly, we're here with Justin Waller. And the, one of the biggest things is, you gotta make sure that you give first. Because if I want to receive something in this world, I want to receive something from somebody, I want to stack the wins. I want to stack the IOUs with somebody. And most people, guess what? They expect shit. They expect to, hey, guess what? Hey, I, I want to get paid for this thing. I want to make this partnership. I want to have this deal. Well, I come into everything. Like my, my boy Connor was talking about, I come into everything without any expectations. I come into the room seeing what I can receive, seeing what I can give. And that's just the biggest, the biggest thing that you can, you know, put out to the world, man. Yeah, and another thing with that is like when you get those opportunities, are you ready? So many mm. people, when they get in the room, they're not prepared to seize that opportunity because they're not really working on themselves 24-7 back at home. Like your personal development needs to be constant so that when you get around a guy like Keaton or a guy like Andy, they recognize you for all that hard work you've put in. They don't overlook you. They don't forget your name. And that takes years for you accumul to accumulate that growth, right? So if you're new on your journey of personal development or you want to get into entrepreneurship, you want to crush it, make a bunch of money, do what you see people doing on social media, start with the basics right now. Like how are you living your life every day? If you don't have that discipline, that routine, if you're not focused on your health, your fitness, if you're not reading, if you're not studying, you're not going to be ready to capitalize on those opportunities. I got something to roll off on that. One of the biggest things that I see in this self-development, the coaching space, is they wanna, hey, you gotta read a book every fucking week if you wanna be successful. You gotta show up to all the events. You gotta do all these things. Well, I'm a firm believer. If you show up to the event, why don't you show up to the event and whatever you learn, the people's hands that you shake, why don't you go ahead and execute on those things that you set up for yourself? The, the biggest problem that I see on this entire planet, over thousands of people that I've talked to, that I've coached, that I've had the opportunity to meet, they just, they don't, they don't know how to execute. They don't, they don't have enough trust built in themselves. We were having a conversation out here. They don't have, an, they don't have that trust piggy bank with themselves. They second guess, hey Sean, what should I do here? I'm thinking about doing this, I'm thinking about doing that. You, you know deep down what the move that you wanna make and the reality is you wanna face the fact that you're probably scared of what if it doesn't work? What if my friends think I'm stupid? What if this? Well, what if you fucking look up in 10 years and you didn't do that thing? That fucking word regret? is what I live for. I, I wanna live a life full of no regrets. I wanna fucking attack and just execute. Even if I fail three times over, he's like, oh, 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 oh Danny's failed. He's, he's falling on his, good, good. Well, you haven't done shit. I'm fucking executing so much, I've failed more. Some of the most successful people on the planet, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, they learn to love failure. It's one of those things that you wanna think about from a champion. You don't think that they would say that. But to be a fucking champion, to be one of the best, they fail the fucking most because they've executed the most. They didn't learn how to shoot the three-pointer the best. They didn't learn how to pl run the play the best. They had some good coaches, but most of the shit is the same. They just said, hey, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna execute at the highest level, and I'm gonna keep attacking until I get it the best, and I'm gonna outwork everybody.
Yeah, and it's not even failure. Like if you if you That's say, facts. it's not even failure. It's a learning lesson. No one gets to this great place in life by just having everything handed to them and this perfect easy path. And if you did, you wouldn't even appreciate it. So you wouldn't yep. see the value in what you've created. Like don't even use the word failure. Things are not going to go yep. your way every time. You're going to get slapped around, you're going to get punched mm -hmm. in the face, but how do you react in those moments? So like the person that can train their mind to always see the good in situations or the uh, the, the the opportunity to yep, level up outside. and grow, that person never fails. They win and they learn. And that's something that I was able to train my mind to recognize going through the hardest, most difficult experiences of my life. Like if I just sat there and thought about how bad it was and why I wasn't getting what I wanted and yep. poor me, I would create a loser's mentality. But literally, no matter what happens to me, I've trained my mind to always recognize the potential that I had to grow through that situation or the silver lining. And it sounds corny and cliche, but the reason you're not at where you wanna be in life is you're not taking massive action and you're talking negatively to yourself about things that have happened to yep. you. If you can shift your mindset, you'll start to just get massive amounts of momentum and forward progress. You know what's funny, and we'll end off on this. This is the, the biggest analogy that I ever give to anybody, is let's say I gave uh, Sean this box, and it's a present, it's called winning, right? I give him this box called winning, he opens it up. Right, this is the success, the dream, all the things that I want. We open up this box, so-called winning success, all these things that we envision. Well, what's in there? I got a nice car, I got a nice house, I got the family, the fitness. But it, deep down inside of that fucking bo that box, that present, that thing that we're trying to unwrap our entire lives, is this thing called fucking suffering. It's called fucking uh, attacking, losing, uh, correcting, like, the, this that heavy fucking rock of things that we don't want to face. We want everything to be sham and glam and everything wants to be perfect, but everything is not going to be perfect. And so if you can set the expectation going in, when I go to attack winning and being successful and making money, then I'm going to have to lift up that heavy fucking rock of, of losing, of failure, of the, these things that are not going to be perfect, of doing things over and over and over that may not be sexy, that might not be the flash and the glam. And so if I give you guys anything, realize that inside of that box of winning of all of the cool shit that's on the, on the other side, the biggest thing in order to really achieve those things is the heaviest thing of them all, that big rock, that big rock of going through all of those waves of just fucking attacking and trying to win, man.